you know, I, when I say that I'm saved uh, be, because of God, because of spirituality, because of what I see and what I've chosen to embrace, uh, I am saved from myself. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. I say I'm saved. That's what I'm saved from. I'm saved from myself. Man, I was living the most destructive lifestyle you can imagine. You know, in the clubs every night, I was going through relationship after relationship after relationship. I was, you know, getting this kind of buzz, that kind of buzz, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, you know, to the point of excess, tremendous excess. I was out there, man. I saw a buddy the other day, you know, I used to drive a motorcycle. But on the way I used to drive a motorcycle is, I mean, every time I would stop, every time I would take off, like from a red light, I'd pop a wheelie. I didn't have one of those little wheels on the back to keep me from going over. That's just who I was. Every, even if I had somebody on the motorcycle with me, I'd be popping those wheels, you know. As well, driving down the highway, competing with my friends, standing on the seat, going 70 miles an hour, now standing on, my, on the seat with one foot out. That's what, no helmet. It's the hat on backwards and some goggles. That was it. So, so I was... Any little thing in, in most of my life could have totally derailed my life, ended my life, and totally screwed me up. But I am well. Man, when I look at people today, I've been now with the, you know, I was in the military, and I was in corporate America for 13 years, and, and I've been with the federal government. You know, but, but prior to the federal government for these last 29 years, the life I lived, I mean, I, I know uh, prior to me, you know, being saved from myself, I was doing all kinds of stuff. And, and there are people that are jammed up now, they have terrible records, can't get good jobs, might even be incarcerated, just terrible situations that have, have done less than I've done in my life. And, and so when I tell you that I'm saved, <laughs> I'm not talking about some spooky spiritual thing, I'm saying my change of mind, my change of attitude, you know, my embracing God and spirituality has saved me from my destructive self, man. My kids, <laughs> they don't even know Marty. <laughs> they know Martin, Dad. They don't know the guy that I was. And, and I believe that's why they're so well. <laughs> Our kids come up in environments that we create. Often the environments are so negative and so toxic those young people grow up destructive themselves, man. And, and so I can, I can honestly say then that, that, that me uh, changing my mind, having a change of heart, having that epiphany, that cold January morning, not only saved me, but it saved my kids who weren't even born yet. My son was born two years later. My, my daughter was born... Uh, uh, 19 years later. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you know, they are extremely well because of the man that I was when they came into the world, man. If I was that other guy, they'd be jacked up. And, and even as a mailman, you know, the last like 29 uh, years or especially 26 where I had a walking around in the hood, I mean, I would see kids, little kids, five years old, walking out of homes and just weed smoke billowing after them, you know? I would see kids maybe seven years old or, and with their ear pierced and sagging their pants. I mean, based on the environment that their parents had created for them that they were growing up in. Those, those kids, a lot of them grew up to have some issues, okay? And, and so, and, and we've done so many programs on how the environment affects the individual, where your subconscious buys into your environment, and you become that which your subconscious has, has, has processed you to be based on the environment that you've been exposed to, you know? And, and so how important it is that my environment changed to a less, a totally non-destructive environment, and that's what my kids were born into. And, and they are... They are extremely well, amazingly well. You know, um, that little side story, my, my daughter, she's off to college now. She's a freshman in another state. And we wanted her to come home for Thanksgiving. So, so we were setting up the airline tickets and all, and, and she could have gotten in early, uh, but she would have had to have skipped a class, you know, in order to, to make that flight. And, and she refused. And, and her response was, I can't skip that class. 
I'm a scholar. <laughs> Jeez, really? <laughs> See, Marty would have skipped that class. Martin probably would have skipped that class too, uh, just to be clear. But, but I'm just saying is, you know, when you are saved, and I'm saying saved in the way saved from your destructive self, you create an environment that your kids will grow up in. And, and because you became this way uh, from a, another environment that you came up in, where you were always this way, your kids will be better than you because they weren't, didn't come up in the previous environment that had corrupted you, okay? That's all I'm saying. And, and that's the way it's supposed to be.